Hey guys, it is Stas here back with another video. This video is related to routing and the stuffs involved in routing. Well, after getting a new Android device and learning a little things about Android, everyone gets so many questions in their mind related to this routing and the stuffs involved in routing. Um, some questions may be weird, some questions will be a uh, real deal. Even I get questions in the comment section regarding this routing, where routing is gonna make my phone super fast, or whether routing is gonna make me a hacker. Well, these things might happen if you handle routing properly. And I even got these kinds of questions which really scared the shit out of me. Sorry for the poor choice of words, but well here now I will try to answer some of your questions regarding routing and here it comes the seven ultimate reasons to root your device or the seven reasons to have a router device in your hand. Glassware Firewall is a multi-featured firewall application which lets you keep your PC and your network safe from intruders. You can see your network activity in real time using this application. Purchase the app for better network environment and network usage. To learn more about this application, click the link in the video description. And the first reason to root your device is nothing but freedom of usage. Uh, coming to this freedom of usage part, the whole routing thing is dependent on this reason. After getting a new Android device, the device literally belongs to the manufacturer of your device. Believe it or not, you spend hundreds of bucks for getting a new device but still you are allowed to perform only certain operations in your device. That means you do not have complete freedom of usage in your device. For instance, you can install apps, you can listen to songs, you can call some person, you can chat with your girlfriend, you can game. When going on to a router device, it has complete freedom of usage. You can do whatever you want with your router device. So that's what routing gives you. The upcoming reasons in this video will be completely dependent on this freedom of usage topic. So this is just a little reason. Mm, so now let us move on to the second reason and that is nothing but modifiability. Well, as per Google, modifiability is nothing but the ability to modify something when coming on to this routing stuff. Uh, as I said, it gives you complete freedom of usage. It also gives you complete freedom to modify whatever you want. You have some person freedom to modify your device to the maximum. Well, for example, take a non router device and let us check whether it is modifiable or not. For example, I am taking um, the system apps that the pre installed apps in your device, like these Google Play, Hangouts, Google Chrome, and other apps, which are not uninstallable or which are not removable from your device you are uh, forced to have these things in your device I mean just think about it who the hell in the world does need Google Chrome and Google Plus to be pre-installed in the device they just occupy your unwanted system memory and they run in the background and they also consume other things but when moving on to a router device it gives you complete freedom to modify anything uh, all you need is a uh, perfect application for deleting those system apps and system files. All you need to do is just jump into the system folder, you need to find the app then, yeah, we can delete it if you don't want it. Uh, I have even made a dedicated video for deleting system apps from your Android device. If you want to watch that, just click here and watch it. So, not only this, routing also gives you modifying ability in advanced level um if you want board with your custom stock android theme then why not you can even change your theme uh, but you need some technological advancements advanced tools and some knowledge about android and other stuffs well in case if you are bored with your old style android stock font then all you need is a font manager app it will just delete the old system font and it will help you to replace it with your own lovely font um, including all these things you can also modify other things but uh, I can't say all the things in this just single clip so now we are moving on to our third reason to have a router device in your hand and that is nothing but root apps well these are the main reasons to have a rooted device in your hand our uh, root apps are nothing but apps which need root permission or super user permission to function properly well here's the super SU or super user super super something 
this is your root manager application after rooting your device you definitely need to have a root manager application to manage all the root apps in your device you can if you want you might grant super user permission for that otherwise you can deny the permission for it there are even some other highly advanced and useful apps that is available only for root devices for example let's take this titanium backup pro and link to sd titanium backup pro is no i'm not promoting or advertising titanium backup pro i just like the app so i'm uh, saying my own of you it is a great app it lets you backup even the operating system in your device to your sd card so that you do not fear of any mess ups when after you root your device there are even some apps uh game mod apps which will work only in a rooted device which will not work in a normal device like this x mod uh clash of clans players out there you know what i'm talking about right x mod yeah they know there are some apps which needs only partial super user permission or partial root permissions. They do not need complete root permission to function but they need root permission to perform certain tasks. For example, take our clean master. It has a feature named auto boost which automatically shuts down the app services which are running at the background. It consumes more battery and more juice so this allows you to stop those apps running behind you but this feature is available only in rooted devices and it is unavailable in non-rooted devices these are some of the cool apps i use in my device if you want just google for other root apps which might be heavily useful for you well. Here it comes the main advanced reason for rooting your device and that is nothing but custom recovery. This might look like a weird topic to you but uh, this is the main thing to root your device. A custom recovery or a recovery. First let us talk about the recovery. A recovery is nothing but a module or, or a software which is pre-installed in every device. Every device comes with a stock recovery that is the recovery inbuilt inside your device which allows you to perform some operations without booting into your operating system like um, installing a zip file which belongs to the same manufacturer of your device or wiping off the entire phone memory or other things like that. But a stock recovery is limited in action. You can't perform whatever you like with the stock recovery but a custom recovery allows you to do whatever you want to do with it. I'm using TWRP custom recovery. This is the best. This looks awesome. This performs awesome. This is actually an open source project so you can get it if it is available for your device. This allows you to perform some advanced tasks like starting from installing a new operating system to your device from deleting the entire OS of your device. So first let us discuss about the little features of custom recovery. When you move on to the install section, it's, it allows you to install uh, even hundreds of apps to the system memory uh, provided you have the memory to hold all the apps and the time for installing all the things. Well, moving on to this backup and recovery section, these two things are the most important feature of having a custom recovery. They are the ultimate saviors of your device after you root your device. I will talk about uh, these things in the last reason for rooting your device. Well, that is all with the custom recovery. So let us turn it off and let us move on to the next reason to have a rooted device. And that reason is nothing but custom room. Custom room. This topic also may sound weird to you, but Custom ROM is nothing but a modified version of your own operating system. Well, uh, this is not that easily obtainable from online because only some devices has a custom ROM uh, available online. Uh, if you hate your device stock theme, if you hate your device stock font or stock icons, or if your device is lagging in performance, battery life, if you want to add some new files to your system, new apps to your system or new functionalities to your system then you can do it using custom room custom room is nothing but a highly customized version of your own operating system and it can be obtained as i said it can be downloaded from online provided your device have it why not even if you have enough programming skills and enough uh, technological skills then you can also develop your own version of custom room for your own device custom room from where to get it uh, almost 95% of the custom rooms available in the universe are, uh, can be obtained from xdadevelopers.com. Uh, this site provides you with advanced Android stuff like custom rooms, custom recovery, custom root files and other things. Uh, if your device is present in the custom room list of uh, the XDA developers thread then obviously you can download your version of custom room and you can install it in your device. So shortly to say XDA developers is the home of uh, more than 
thousands of uh, more than hundreds of custom rooms well here is a sample custom room for you this thing is for galaxy s6 um a custom room developer usually adds a disclaimer warning at the start because um, even if you perform everything perfect some custom rooms may be high weirdly so you need to read the caution first and you need to do all these things at your own risk the custom room developer should have added some advanced features to their version of own room and they would have even added some tweaks and performance enhancement applications and files inside your device so so if your device is slow or if your device is behaving weirdly then just get a custom room if it is available for your device and enjoy your day that is all with the main reasons for rooting your device and here comes the sixth reason for rooting your device that is nothing but tweaks well generally speaking tweaks are nothing but um, enhancers or boosters for boosting up a thing well if your device is performing low then you can install some tweak files into your device to make it perform faster if your device is having a poor battery life then you can install a tweak into your device to make your battery perform faster. Even network screw ups can be fixed with um, almost most of the problems can be fixed with these tweak files. Well, in my own experience, even um, my very first standard device has some weird heating issues, and I fixed that heating issue by installing a tweak into my device. Tweaks nearly fixes some things inside your device. Well, these tweaks can be also obtained from XTA developers, but some custom rooms comes uh, in build with some tweaks if you are having that custom room with those tweaks pre-installed in your device then you need not separately download those tweak files and install it in your device but if you do not have those performance tweak in your custom room then you can get it from online by searching if it is not available then you are helpless maybe Mm, you are a programming mumbo jumbo you can develop your own version of tweaks but do not screw up with your device it might even break your device to greater extent so tweaks let us see what are the things which are present inside a tweak file a tweak package is nothing but a standard zip file which is the only format readable by your custom recovery uh, inside it there will be a folder called meta information or meta inf which contains all the license and other stuff as well moving on back there is a folder named system this actually denotes your device's system folder where all your system files and folders and applications will be present so this represents the system folder and if you are putting something inside that folder it will be directly flashed or it will be directly extracted to that folder if that folder is not present then it will throw an exception when you are trying to flash the thing so that is all with the tweaks and the usages of tweaks if you like all these things then just skip this video and go and root your device but there is a reason there is a main reason to root your device and that is nothing but no fear of screw ups or no fear of messing up with your device in case if you break your device then your help was even batman can't save you but in case if you break some softer stuffs in your device in your rooted device then it can be easily fixed a rooted device fears nothing literally it fears nothing even if you are having a bricked device that is a device without an operating system even that can be fixed if you are having root or um, root permission and a custom recovery it's just easy as installing an app so formally saying super user permission and custom recovery all the ultimate saviors for your device even i uploaded uh, a lot of videos regarding this lock removing techniques uh, in my channel if you haven't checked it just go and check it out these things helps you to remove the locks from your device in case you for got in case in case if you do not know how to unlock your device and this will work perfectly in one device that's with super user permission and a custom recovery installed in it so you yourself decide that is all with the reasons for rooting your device now you decide it's time for you to decide whether to root your device or not to root your device so if you are going to use your device just for making calls and for chatting with your friends and for just playing little candy crush soda and saga games then don't root your device it's just an unwanted luxury for your device it's just like uh, fixing a ferrari engine inside a useless potato which is merely useless it won't run so if you are going to use your device beneficially by doing advanced tasks then please go and root your device that is all with this video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did so then just give me a thumbs up if you didn't then just give me a thumbs down if you have any feedbacks to share just uh, type your feedback in the comment section be polite i will delete root comments i am mean so if you want to stay connected with our channel just stay subscribed or if you haven't yet subscribe 
I will meet you guys in the next one. Until unless it's bye from ADS Stars.